Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently Sunday the 14th of February at about 10.30pm. Uh, I'm just finishing off reading Giant's Bread by Ag Agatha Christie, writing as Mary Westmacott. And next I have some Asimov. Let me just lean in over here. Uh, the Naked Sun. That's what I'm going to hopefully read next. So uh, keep, your, keep your eyes peeled for that. Biggie, it's cold outside. Hello, internet people. It is the 16th of February, which makes it what? Tuesday. Uh, oh yeah, okay, because my radio show's gone out tonight, so it's the episode with a guy called Mark Page, who's a local photographer. Uh, I don't have much space on my camera because I've been doing some music stuff. I probably won't post too much of it on YouTube, but there's a Facebook group called Open Mic Solate, which is like a virtual open mic, so I've been playing some stuff in front of the green screen and I'm going to be posting uh, a bunch of those in there. Recently I finished reading The Naked Sun by Isaac Asimov. This was a 4 out of 5 detective novel, um, but based with robots as well. And you, you, you get this kind of quandary of, can a robot be a murderer? Is it possible to break the three laws of robotics? And I think Asimov does a great job of setting them up and then knocking them down. It's really interesting the way he does that. So yeah, 4 out of 5 for me. And then I finished reading At Last, The Thornbirds by Colleen McCulloch, which has been my bedtime book. Uh, it's like a sprawling epic but uh, basically following this, the life of this one woman called um, uh, Maggie on an Australian farm. It encompasses the Second World War. Uh, there's like religious themes to it. Maggie actually falls in love with a priest and so there's this like forbidden love. There's a big fire at one point. And uh, yeah, we're following the Cleary family. It was a big success when it came out and there was a popular uh, TV series about it. And it says here 30th anniversary edition, which sounds about right because I'm partly named after Dane, who is one of the characters in this. Um, and uh, yeah, I, so I read it basically to find out more about my namesake and yeah, it was good. 3.5 out of 5. It's definitely quite plot slow, although there is also a lot of plot in there. Um, but it's really beautifully written. It's uh, one for those who like, uh, you know, there's kind of literary fiction he reads where it's much more about following a, a single person. It actually reminded me in some ways of Stoner by John Williams, which was one of my favourite books uh, of the year a few years ago. So I'm glad I read it, but also it took me long enough. It took me like two months. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm currently watching Black Shadow 993 on YouTube do a let's play of a, a PlayStation 1 game called Medieval, because I used to love that game. Never completed it, so I'm watching this guy complete it. Uh, I've got a lot of let's plays actually I've recently added to my watch later, because I'm starting to run out of entertainment again. Uh, I've finished all my Netflix. I have been listening to some more Hunger Games, and I watched the movie of Catching Fire yesterday. Uh, I'm going to cut out now, so yeah, I'll update you soon. Any, mo any moment now. We'll just keep... Hello, YouTube people. It's currently the 25th of February. That makes it, what, Thursday? Um, yeah, I've been editing my vlogs and I feel like I've lost some footage. Uh, I, I don't really know. Basically, what happened... I haven't updated you guys for a few days because my Mac sort of exploded a bit on me. Um, so I had to like reformat it. I did manage to reclaim most of my uh, footage, which is good. Uh, but yeah, taught me a lesson in backing up, I guess. Although I don't, I need to get an external hard drive, I guess. But yeah, I had to buy some software as well to kind of reclaim this footage. Susie came over yesterday, we listened to some vinyls. She's probably coming over tomorrow and Saturday as well. Um, I have been reading, I finished reading Kirk Sandblaster Faces the End by Ollie Jacobs, which is like a uh, humorous sci-fi comedy uh, indie, indie book. Uh, last book in the series, I did enjoy it. Strong 3.5 out of 5, maybe even a 4 out of 5. Then I read The Burden by Agatha Christie. This is one of her Mary Westmacott novels. This is probably my least favourite of them so, so far, so I gave this a 3 out of 5. It's competently written, it's just a bit dull, really. Um, yeah, Laura Franklin bitterly resented the arrival of her younger sister Shirley, an enchanting baby loved by all the family. But Laura's emotions towards her sister changed dramatically one night when she vowed to protect her with all her strength and love. While Shirley longs for freedom and romance, Laura has to learn that loving can never be a one-sided affair, and the burden of her love for her sister sister has a dramatic effect on both their lives. Wow, yeah. Then I read A Slip of the Keyboard by Terry Pratchett. This is Reflections on Life, Death and Hats, uh, collected non-fiction. Lots to say about this, so a full review will be coming soon. Uh, it also included Shaking Hands with Death, which is, that's my food cooking. It also included Shaking Hands with Death, which had uh, a lecture that he, he gave, uh, which I've read as like a standalone book as well, but yeah, solid 4.5 out of 5 here. Probably one of my books of the quarter, although it is very sad at times. And now I am reading Andrzej Szymkowski, The Tower of the Swallow, which is Witcher novel, what, number four? Yeah, um, but I think sixth in the series. 
I don't actually know how many more there are. I think there's like one or two more after this. This one's also considerably thicker than the others. But I have enjoyed the last few. Uh, the Lady of the Lake and Season of Storms come after this. So I will probably finish reading this over the next couple of months, this series. But yeah, enjoying it. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to go back to getting some work done now. Um, I don't really have much to update you on. We've got a road map here in the UK for coming out of COVID lockdown, which basically means it doesn't really affect me too much until about May when I can finally go and see my mum, who I haven't seen since like September. So this will be the longest since I went to, since I, in fact, this will be the longest I have ever been without seeing my mum. So that's sad. Yeah. But I'm um, looking forward to seeing her in three or four months. Uh, and in the meantime, society is slowly reopening. It means like pubs will be open in like two months or something for you to go and have a beer outside, but I've quit drinking. So, eh. Uh, Although maybe there'll be some open mics in gardens and stuff, we'll see. But yeah, pretty depressing stuff to be honest. All right, having investigated some more, I have discovered what went wrong. Um, I've lost a bunch of footage. I actually filmed my responses to my Q&A video, um, along with me picking the competition winners. That's disappeared, annoyingly. Um, some vlog has disappeared, so we're just gonna turn this into a super vlog. Possibly one or two reviews, but hey ho, I've got plenty on my backlog to catch up with anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened. I also want to add that I finished listening to an audiobook. I listened to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Casey, and I finished listening to uh, that, which was very good. And I will soon be watching the movie of it with Susie, and then we'll be doing a video on asylums for Lord Literature and Madam Media, our combined YouTube channel. Link to below. Uh, all right, hello everybody. It is currently Friday the 26th of February. In the afternoon, I've pretty much just woken up. Uh, it's really nice outside, so I'm hoping to maybe go for a walk and enjoy the sunshine in a second. My back hurts, I've done my back in. Um, it's, I think it's something to do with quitting smoking. I'm on about a month and 10 days now, but when I've quit smoking in the past, and it's the same very much this time, I get these really bad stomach aches. Biggie, it's going outside. F uh, fucking with me lighting. Anyway. I'm currently reading uh, The Tower of the Swallow by Andrzej Sapkowski, The Witcher book. I also got a, a care package from my mum today, um, which I haven't fully explored yet, but um, there are some marshmallows in it, vegan marshmallows, which is nice, and a nice cup of coffee. So I'm just having that now before I potentially go for my walk. Um, and it'd be nice if I do get some chance to go outside to do a, bit, a little bit of the garden as well. So we will see. But that is where I am at. Susie's coming over later. We will listen to some vinyls, do a bit of filming. Uh, I got a call at five today and then another one for an hour at five tomorrow where we're doing a live stream as part of um, the art center stuff. So that should be cool. And yeah. In a different light, we're listening to, uh, who are we listening to again? The Bungees, right? The Bangles. Did you know that really? I did know that really. I, I, tempor I was being facetious. I, I temporarily forgot and genuinely had to check. Oh bless yeah. you. And I was the one who told you. Yeah. <laughs> Low battery already, never mind. I did charge some of the other ones. Right. Hello everybody, it is the 27th of February, that is Saturday. Uh, Susie's here, would you like to come and join me? Yes, I will enter the shot. Hi guys. All right, you have been cuddling Biggie today, haven't you? I have been, he was so cute, he actually let me carry him today. So we've just ordered Chinese. We've got Wok and Go on its way. Yeah, it's really hard to get vegan stuff, apparently. Mm, yeah, there's bloody oysters and all kinds of shit. Anyway, uh, earlier today, uh, Susie went for a walk. I did a live stream with Calculator, which you caught the end of, a screen printing demo and Q&A. Uh, I've been out in the garden planting a few bits. Mm -hmm. um, it was nice stirring away in the second half of your Calculator thing. Mm. I got to sit there like, is the mic off? Yeah, okay, mm. well, this would be really cool. Could you ask that? Yeah didn't even know that I was there off shot. No. That was nice. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I have been reading some more of Andre Sapkowski, The Tower of the Swallow, because she spits and I swallow. <laughs> That's, I, unproven. <laughs> so, I'm currently reading The Tower of the, and uh, yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying it so far. I've got two more Witcher novels after this, and then I'm all up to date. Uh, there is a bit of ice cream that got on the end of it. 
Um, is it the same ice cream that ended up on the floor? Yeah, that, that then ended up on my sock? What happened was there's ice cream in front of the freezer because I, in the middle of the night, I woke up in the middle of the night and ate some ice cream. Yeah. And I dropped some on the floor and then just left it there. And the book was on the side of the sofa like this, holding its place. And then I think I or the cat was me, I remember actually doing it. Knocked it onto the floor into the ice cream. My phone's ringing and it might be the walk. And then I came back, that was it, the next day or something. And Hello? I'm like, hi guys, I've got goodies. And then I sit down, I'm like, oh, what the fuck have I stood in? Yeah, hiya. Uh, yes, uh, I'll come find you now. All right, food's here. We'll continue Yay. with our update later. Okay, cool. Well, basically, yeah, we've got food here. Uh, Susie is reading Changeless yes. by Gail Carragher. Yes, trying to get to it. I stopped for a little bit to read uh, Asylum and then The Horrible Histories, and then I listened to the audiobook of Mockingjay. So it's time to get back to it. So yeah. we're Should gonna. Let's see. Let's yeah, we're gonna go eat this, possibly do some reading later, and uh, might watch One Flew Over the Cookie's Nest. Hello, it is me again. It is about 20 past 10. I have a little biggie down here. I have a Susie through there. She's in bed. Aren't you Susie? Yeah, I'm on the phone. She's on her phone. Um, I'm being louder because I have a later bedtime, I guess. Uh, updates, here is a cat. Oh, come on, piggy boy. Ow. Now that's just me. Uh-oh, shit. I did pick him up. He didn't like it very much, did you, Biggs? Biggie, what are you doing? Can I go outside now, please? He's blatantly being bullied. Bear with me one second. I'm talking about the cat. What are you doing to the cat? No, I, I oh, picked him up. Okay, um, thank you for protecting me. Day. Sorry, I'll be bad. I'll be good even. <laughs> Okay, so Susie is off back into the bedroom to play on her phone and possibly read some Changeless. In fact, not because that's through here. Uh, I've been reading, I'm about two thirds of the way through The Tower of the Swallow by uh, Andrei Spakowski now. I am enjoying it rather a bit. After that, I'm probably going to read Welcome Descent by Cam Wolf, who runs Page Nomad here on Booktube. Um, I don't know, I got it in the post a little while ago and then just stuff kept coming in the post. So I've been kind of saving it because um, I think I'm going to enjoy it. So yeah, I'll probably read that after Witcher, and then I don't know what I'll read after that. I will update you then. Uh, the food was nice. Susie threw half of hers on the floor for some reason, though. Uh, why did you throw your food on the floor? Oh, I think she's coming back. This does not I bode well. Pretty certain there was like a spirit in there or something, like it was trying to possess me. So I had to stop eating it and get rid of it. Ah. Yeah. If you take a step here, you'll come into frame. Then people will know how crazy I sound. I'm, yeah, she is. I, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, nah. You were just clumsy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But luckily it wasn't all of your food though, so you had some left. Yes, and I'm sure this is fascinating content yeah. that I threw a plate of food on the floor. Yeah. I tied it up after myself though, which is more than could be said for certain ice cream facts. Yeah. I got told again. <laughs> oh, you're not allowed to school me in front of people. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, sorry. I think that's all I've got for this update anyway. All right, then we can do some vlog, uh, some wrap up. All right, hello everybody. It is Sunday the 28th of February. I feel rough today. I've got stomach aches and stuff, um, which I think is through due to my IBS. Uh, although I have got some tablets to take, so hopefully that'll feel, that, that'll make me feel better. Uh, I made it to the shop earlier. I'm currently still just reading The Tower of the Swallow by Andrzej Spakowski. Uh, and then after that, Welcome Descent by Cam C. Wolf. So I reckon I'll be starting Welcome Descent tomorrow, uh, assuming nothing comes in the post. I also read a bunch more of La Hobbit as well. So um, what's happened? Well, we've finally left the uh, elves in the, the forest elves. I've forgotten what they were called already now. But we've finally left those guys. Uh, and we are now, we've just met Bard in is it dale i want to say uh i can't remember the names of any of the places but yeah the dwarves have all just met up with those guys and now they're uh, off on the final journey to the misty mountain to go and meet smaug um so after a pretty good dent in so far it's like i probably read about 15 pages at a time or something like that and it's about 380 so uh slowly but surely i'm edging my way towards the end of that 
And I think that's about it. I need to start my next audiobook soon, which will probably be a Battle Royale by Kushan Takami, although I have a lot of stuff on my YouTube playlist to watch as well, so I'll be catching up on that. And that's about it. So, on that note, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> hit that subscribe button for more. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.